Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you have donated to my channel in any way, monetarily or energetically, thank you, Scorpio. I've been just outside playing with my baby girl, Luna, and I'm a little chilly still. I can't believe how cold it's been getting in PA at night already, but I do love this time of year. Um, and I had something come to me, and I want you y'all to let me know. I was thinking about starting to do a live show once a week, um, probably on Tuesdays, and it will be in the morning. Um, so we can just chat, but it will be a live show. Um, and if I have time at the end, we can do a few $10 cash apps, but it will basically be just a live show. Let me know if you would be interested in that. If you would like to enter to win $120. $25 you can do that by liking subscribing and entering blessing but remember if you're doing well for yourself let's pass this on to our friends and family that could use the extra come up but everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking subscribing and entering reading if you would like a personal reading you can visit scorpiopriestess.com i do have my tarot one hour session on sale it is a little bit of breakup coaching with a little bit of tarot and it is 15 percent off by using code breakup we are going to see what is coming in over the weekend what is the weekend vibe here scorpio what is coming this weekend energetically what are the predict predictions for the weekend Let's get into it. Oh, my goodness. I will have the chapters down below. We are just going to see what is coming in general, um, what it is that you need to know, and then uh, we will see what is coming in love as well. Harmonious partnership, soulmate. For some of you, could be meeting a new soulmate, a bond that helps you grow, somebody from your soul family. This does not have to be a lover. This could be a friend, a dog. I had a... a um, bulldog that was part of my soul family. I knew it from the moment I seen her. Not that I do not love and adore my Luna, but um, I knew that my old dog was part of my soul family. For some of you, you may have uh, had or um, have that experience um, where you get an animal and you just know that there's something about that baby soul. Attracting long-term partners, marriage life, attracted to a married person, new partner may be divorced and listen to your intuition. There's intense emotions. There could be some things hidden, deception, proceed with caution. For some of you, you're attracting in people that could be life partners. For others, you may be attracted to a married person or um, dating somebody that is divorced or meeting someone over the weekend that is divorced or going through a divorce. For some of you, you are going through the divorce. You are being guided to proceed with caution to listen to your intuition, um, you know, because there are some things that you are not seeing. <clears throat> I did just do the daily reading and there was a lot about hidden things. So if this resonates with you, you may want to watch that reading. Again, here, dead-end relationships, a toxic mindset, okay, but events taking place in the future, inner knowing, the occult knowledge here, stepping into your spiritual power, Scorpio. Over the weekend, intuition incredibly high. You meeting somebody that you feel like you've known forever. For some of you, you could be meeting a new person this weekend, um, whether it is a lover, a friend, what have you, and you're just, your intuition is just going to know. You have an inner knowing that, that something could be toxic for you or something has begun to be incredibly, something's became incredibly toxic. Um, but experimenting with your life, inexperienced on the job or a situation, willingness to try new things and exploring all possibilities. That is what you're being guided to do is explore all possibilities. Luna, Miss Luna, what are you doing? I have... I have my prayer chair and my altar um, in the corner of the room, and I've never seen her get on this chair. Well, she is uh, drug her butt up on my chair, y'all, and um, I have no idea what she thinks she's doing up there because that is mommy's special space. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interrupting, but um, I'm concerned she's going to start chewing my pillow because she's a little mad woman. Nevertheless, there could be some things here that you're experimenting with in your life. 
there could be some things going on that you're exploring all possibilities, Scorpio, that you are um, opening yourself up to new new things and new people um, because of a toxic situation. For some of you, you're just getting out of a marriage. You were married for a long time and now you're getting excited again and that's where you should be. What does my new life look like? What do I want it to look like? Start visualizing. I will tell you all that I had a visualization and it was always that I was... Um, standing on a balcony looking out at the ocean because I want to buy a home by the ocean so I will often visualize what my home would look like and um the visualization would always come to me it was what my mind made up I was on a balcony I was looking out and and there was you know um either a street or trees or something I would always see um before the ocean and it occurred to me this morning as I was doing my visualization that I manifested that. When my girls and I went away, we were at a resort and it was the same exact visualization that I have been visualizing. And so um, I'm not special in that way. You can do the same. Start visualizing. What do you want? What do you want your life to look like? And then align with that, Scorpio. Start aligning with what you want your new life to look like. It is so fun and exciting. It's happened to me a time or two before but this visualization was um a hundred percent without a doubt when i went to visualize this morning i was reminded of uh I, I i manifested it and so i would love for all of you to experience that as well for some of you you're experimenting with life and you're starting to get excited again you're ready to take on new adventures possibly a new job you have an inner knowing that there are some really good things coming in you have an inner knowing that you need to start putting yourself out there more for some of you maybe you are you are um introverts and you stay home a lot you're starting to feel like maybe you need to get out more um and i feel like that would be the case um that that is the case for a lot of you so tell me about what the deception and hidden things are first why is scorpio being asked to proceed with caution here please this weekend <clears throat> You may get an invitation to go out and overindulge with somebody. They want to give you the royal treatment, but there's something that you need to listen to your intuition about with this person. Connect with Mother Earth. Um, you may be wanting to just escape your mind, escape your life over the weekend. You may get a, a feeling of like, I just can't stand this anymore. Um, I can't stand the lies. I can't stand the deception um, that somebody you know around you, that possibly your husband or wife is just constantly lying. For some of you, you could get a invitation to overindulge um, and there's something about there's some deception behind this. You're being guided to proceed with caution. If you're being asked to go out and overindulge, Scorpio, you may want to be careful. You don't want to get yourself in trouble while you're out drinking or something. Learning life lessons, getting answers, learning a new set of skills. See, a lot of you are learning this weekend. You could be taking a master class or um, taking a class in general researching some things, learning, experimenting with your life, believe in miracles, don't give up hope, and magic surrounds you. There is a lot of magic surrounding you over the next few days if you allow it to come in. What about this soulmate that Scorpio is attracting, please? Express yourself creatively, okay? That's going to help you manifest in new things. Um, you're finding your footing. You're 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 going. You're you're keeping going despite setbacks, and you're ramming your way through here. But there could be some um, romantic issues coming up with a soulmate. There could be some temporary fix to a situation that is. Um, not just you can't just put a band-aid over it there's more you know there, there's a reason why this person cheats and lies and acts the way they do there's a reason why um you all are where you are in your relationship you can't just band-aid it over the weekend you may want to just pretend like there's not deception and lies with a soulmate for some of you you've already you're in a relationship with the soulmate that's became toxic and you're trying to put band-aids over it and that is the reason why it's just continuously ending up and in, in the same way it always does 
you being hurt because there needs to be uh, there's deeper issues and deeper reasons at hand here this person could have a lot of issues with inside their self maybe you do too score maybe there's a lot of healing that needs to take place you know, you're being guided to dive deep into a problem explore the unconscious dive deep with your emotions here and be patient with yourself go slow and steady don't make any hasty decisions if you've been in no communication with somebody and they reach back out um, don't run off the Vegas with them this is just a band-aid having an intimate special moment with somebody that it's became incredibly toxic with is just band-aiding it is what spirit's saying my goodness I didn't get what am I doing, Dusty? I feel for some of you here, you want to try to fix a problem with a soulmate, somebody that you were in a long-term connection with. But if it's not dove, if you don't dive deep into why this person acts the way they do or why you both end up behaving the way you do, then it's only going to be a temporary solution is what I see here. For some of you, you may have a great weekend with somebody you've been in no contact with, but it's not going to fix the problem is what Spirit's saying. Oh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's something that needs to be explored, y'all. You need to dive. What is this? Diving deep with an emotion here. Um, Spirit is, is asking you to let go of some things. You may be um, holding on to things from your past or holding on to past pain from past relationships. They could be. But judgment calls need to be made, allowing yourself to go through this 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 rebirth, um, making a judgment call on which way you want to go or why you are feeling so like you can't move on. It, it may be years and you're still hanging on to somebody and there's a reason for it. There's something deeper. There's something deeper going on is what Spirit's saying. Tell me about what's taking place in the future here for Scorpio and then we're going to hop into love. A new lover, a new soulmate, somebody that's very generous, somebody that's going to give to you equally if you want it, Scorpio. If you allow yourself to go through this rebirth, make a judgment call to let go of these emotions of not feeling good enough or let go of the pain that this past person put you in, you are going to meet a new soulmate to a cup's connection here that's very giving, that's very loving, but you're just very disconnected right now and you're not seeing yourself for the beautiful bomb ass person you really are. Start visualizing. How would it feel to sit next to somebody and they put their hand on your lap? How would it feel to be embraced by somebody who is loyal? Um, you know, what color eyes do you want them to have? What kind of career would you like them to have? Visualize yourself in the future with a new soulmate that treats you like a queen or a king that gives you the royal treatment. Over the weekend, for some of you, you could meet somebody or, or reconnect with somebody that wants to give you the royal treatment, but you have to listen to your intuition here because there could be something about it that's that's does it's not what it seems. This person could be married or there could be something going on that's deeper, you know. You're finding your footing and you're keep it. You're going to keep going despite any setback, sweetheart. You will. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, an earth sign, a water sign. So let's hop into, into love, even though we did speak a lot about love here. It must be big on your mind this weekend or some predictions that spirit wanted you to, to know that you have to listen to your intuition. Open yourself up to experimenting with your life here, Scorpio. Yeah, freedom from the past. Beautiful. Mending rifts. Freedom from negativity and picking up the pieces. But there's an irreversible ending. No second chances. Loss. Divorce. A breakup. For some of you, you're going through an actual divorce, but you have to make some kind of um, of judgment call here, or there is going to be a judgment in your divorce. Give me one second, guys. I am so sorry. It is like I have a toddler. I knew what you were doing. Now, Luna, I knew it. Let me show you. I had this pillow, and I've had this for about 20 years, and it has beads. And my darling Luna got up on the chair just to get the pillow down and chew it. There, there's beads or sequences everywhere. I'm so sorry, guys. Those that are still with me, uh, somebody is stalking you, watching you, focusing out on you. This person here, um, 
wants to see there's some temporary solution that they want with you like um can i just come over for the night or will you just spend the weekend with me where you just talk to me there's something like this but you are feeling as if there's no second chances that this needs to be over they were very toxic and there's a lot of things that they need to heal inside their self and you you realize this for most of you you're understanding that this has got to end at least for now right so um just know that this person is really watching you if you have told somebody it's over there's no second chances i'm done this person over the weekend is really keeping a strong eye on you scorpio they want to know what you're doing this could have been a long distance relationship for some of you you maybe are talking to somebody that is at a distance you could be talking to someone that um you that's foreign from you but new love while traveling you spreading your wings over the weekend you may feel feel like getting on a dating site or getting on Facebook dating or doing something like this, taking a relationship to the next level, getting engaged, planning for the future, ready for a life partner. Most of you are here. You don't want some toxic person rushing in and out of your life, and you certainly don't want to be a third party. You want to be somebody's priority. You want to be treated like a king or queen. You're opening yourself up to new experiences or you're going to start feeling like you're ready over the weekend. Most of you are going to make a judgment call to move forward because this person did the very most and they're just your intuition is telling you that you can't go back. There could be children involved, though. For some of you, you could find out that you're pregnant over the weekend. Somebody may come in and want to try to have a baby. That could be the temporary band-aid they want to put on this, um, get you knocked up here. But very immature behavior coming from someone over the weekend, especially if you're telling them it's over. They may start calling repeatedly, texting, showing up. It just depends on where you are in, in, in this story. What is Scorpio mending from, please? I feel like this weekend you are picking up the pieces of your heart because you have a warrior spirit and you are not selling yourself out anymore. For some of you could have found out that there was a prostitute that this person was seeing or a cam girl or something like this, but you were lowering your standards for this person and you are freeing yourself from this. Oh, Scorpio. Confronting life challenges connected to your power. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so proud of you. You are a warrior, not a fucking prostitute. Let's get that straight. And that is the energy you're going to be in this weekend. I am a warrior. I am not a prostitute and I will not sell myself out for money or sell myself out because um, I, I know I deserve more than this. And that is what you are doing this weekend. You are coming to a place where you are confronting this, that maybe there's a deeper issue and why you keep attracting dead-end relationships. Scorpio, I'm so proud of you. I could literally cry. I'm so proud of some of you. You've came so far. Please congratulate yourself. Do something kind for yourself this weekend. You are, because you are getting into this vibration of being a warrior and not selling yourself out anymore, you are attracting um, commitments, life partners. You're attracting people that are going to be around for the long haul, not people that are rushing in and out of your life for a good time or that future fake you or whatever the hell was going on here that you were selling yourself out. Tell me about the irreversible ending here over the weekend. Someone's talking, um, someone's taking what's yours, lost opportunity, robbed of power in happiness. Um, there was impulses. Be careful who you trust. You are being persuaded here. This, somebody wants to try to persuade you not to end a relationship, but you are filled with divine light. There are supernatural energies and spiritual development. For a lot of you here, the divine has stepped in and reminded you that you are a warrior. This person was taking things from you, taking your light, taking your money. Um, they robbed you of your power. They robbed you of your happiness. And you are saying no more. There is no more of this. Oh my gosh, I am so excited for you. I feel like you're trying to balance your impulses here to reach out to this person. 
You're, you're trying to balance yourself out. You're no longer allowing them to persuade you. There are no second chances. I'm sorry. I'm moving forward. I will always love you, but you, motherfucker, have got to get yourself together. And I'm not selling myself out anymore and staying in this toxic relationship. Whoever I'm channeling right now, the, the group of Scorpios I'm channeling right now, you are filled with divine light and you are a warrior spirit. You have warriors on your spirit team. Your ancestors, your angels have not came to play. And they are helping you move your way through this hard breakup or this hard time in your life. And congratulations for taking the lessons and moving forward. Mm -mm -mm. So beautiful. Now tell me about the stalking. What does this person want? They want to try to persuade you. They want to try to persuade you to either give them money or take them back. Or they're forcing progress. Something is blocked and issues been building up. This person is, is getting more angry and more angry by the day because you're not reaching out or you're not taking them back. They feel cut off. They're walking into the unknown. They feel like they're, they're, there's instability here. You have had a strong bond, but you're ready for love. And this person is watching. They know it. They know that you're exploring new, new possibilities or they can feel the light within you shining. They can feel you moving forward and it's starting to really upset them. For some of you, you may not have even heard from this person, but you can feel that they're stalking you. You feel that they're watching you all the time and you can feel it. You can, you can almost feel and you know that as soon as you meet somebody, as soon as you meet the right person here, this, they're going to come on back in and try to persuade you to stay in this connection or to come back. For some of you of children to this person, so you have to see them a lot. They've seen your progress. They can tell that you're getting happier. They can tell that you're looking lighter. And it's really starting to bother them. Mm, this is this is a person here that needs to really sit down and heal and, and get their own um, light, you know, fill their self with light. <clears throat> we will be together again. I left when I saw you with someone. I feel for some of you here, this person feels like you're dating someone. And so they haven't reached out. I left before you could leave me. And I know I was a distraction from your pain, Scorpio. Um, for some of you, you meant this person when you were getting out of a bad relationship with someone else. You keep attracting dead-end relationships. And that's why you're starting to understand. You're understanding the lesson. You're done selling yourself out and lowering your standards for these people. Tell me about the stalking. For some of you, you're going to find that this person, um, yeah, they, they're sitting in their mind just going round and round. They're in this mental prison. They could deal with some psychological issues. For some of you, this person deals with major depression or some personality disorder. Um, Knight of Wands energy. This is someone that was inconsistent in your life. They were not giving you what you deserved and what you desired. And they just sit back and watch now. You may have wanted a commitment, a life partner, and they didn't. So it ended. And now they're just watching and stalking. For others who were married to this person, they started acting like a player or very inconsistent with you. And now they're just in this mental prison, not moving forward, not moving towards you, but stalking. Oh, boy. They're so burdened, y'all. There is going to be a tower moment in this person's life, y'all, if they find out you have meant new love, period. They are watching. They are 10 of wands burdened as hell. And it has been a tower moment that you do not want them back. They want to force something. They want to force something with you. But it's blocked. The divine is blocking it for you right now. The divine is, is blocking this and allowing you time to heal before they come back in so you have the ability to say no to them. Because for some of you, it's been very difficult to tell this person no. You gave your whole life and your whole self to them. And now you're, you're finding your footing and you're moving forward. And spirit is blocking this out so you can, can gain your strength. This could be another Scorpio. So tell me about the life partner Scorpio is attracting over the weekend, please, spirit. Yes, I don't chase. I attract what belongs to me, will simply find me. 
empress energy, male or female. I am not playing games anymore. I'm attracting in healthy, good things by keeping my vibration high and no longer selling myself out. If you don't want what I want, I'm not going to let my ego or, or my or you know feel low about myself i'm just going to simply go on my way and attract in somebody who does want what i want and not only are you going to attract in healthy happy relationships scorpio but you're going to attract in abundance joy fruitful life coming from you in this energy oh i'm so sorry about luna right now guys i really am she's she's in one of her moods but balancing yourself out, Sagittarian energy here, Taurus energy, Libra energy, balancing yourself out, keeping yourself balanced over the weekend. Um, and that is what is bringing in and attracting these new life partners, spreading your wings and experimenting with life. For those who are not quite there yet, you're going to get there. Hang on. Keep moving forward here. Keep ramming your way forward, sweetheart, because you are going to get there. You will find your footing. So if you're not quite in this energy yet of no longer selling yourself short and standing here in your power with your divine light, you're going to be. You will get here, Scorpio. This is only a matter of time. We're just all on different timelines. So if you haven't made it yet, hang on you may be dealing with a sagittarius for some of you what in the heck happened here some cards sticking together so we're going to get a message from um our angels spirit tell me what is the message that we have for scorpio please what is the message that we have from their angels this weekend about this weekend's energy don't give up on love number nine beautiful a relationship you cherish can be healed Allow me to clear a way for forgiveness so love can thrive again. For a lot of you here, the relationship that can be healed is with yourself, Scorpio. The relationship that can be healed is with a, a child or a mother or, or somebody. But do not give up on love. Don't give up on loving yourself. Do not give up on the fact that you are going to meet somebody that wants marriage, that wants commitment. As you mend these rifts in your heart and free yourself from negativity, you're going to start attracting in very healthy, happy relationships. I am so happy to see this, y'all. I really am. I am here with you. I am here for you. I am sending you love and light. And I am so proud of you that you are no longer selling yourself out. You are going from a warrior. I mean, you're going from a prostitute to a warrior. Um, wearing your halo here and that is where you need to be this weekend so good hidden treasure the treasure you are looking for is hidden in the ground you're standing on it's time to dig deeper again about digging deeper there are some things um going on inside you scorpio that need that need to be looked at for some of you there are some reasons why you have attracted so many bad connections or that you stayed in a really terrible relationship and sold yourself out for a while, it's deeper than surface level. It's coming from childhood or or something here. And, and you're being guided to look at that because there are so many hidden treasures inside you. Almost there. You have came this far to give up now. The seeds you planted are beginning to flourish. They are. They are. They are. So, for those who have not quite made it 100% to this energy of this warrior bomb ass spirit, you're getting there. You're almost there. Spirit is confirming what I'm saying. You're almost there. I feel like a lot of you are starting to have an inner knowing that things are going to be better than good. And for a while, you were a, it was a little iffy. You know, this person wants to run away with you. Would you pack your bags and meet me in Hawaii? Um, I just want to get away from the world 
and be alone with you. My mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me. This person deals with mother wounds. Like I said, something deeper. There's something deeper on why they act the way they do. And spirits confirming it's some kind of mother wound. Um, or, or, you know, maybe they, it, narcissism is a learned trait. Maybe they learned it from their mother. Whatever the case is, you are confronting life's challenges this weekend, attracting in healthy people, experimenting with your life, and you're being stalked while you're doing it. So I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed weekend. And I'm just going to say again how damn proud I am of you. Love and light.